Hi friends, welcome to our next video. Here we discuss some basic aspects of Marxist literary criticism. Let's move on. Marxist literary theory based on Marxism is one of the most influential critical theories to analyze literature. Marxism is a school of thought founded by Karl Marx, a German philosopher and a German sociologist Frederick Engels. They also called their economic theory communism. They announced the advent of communism in the jointly written communist manifesto of 1848. Marxism still remains significant as it gives us a meaningful way to understand history, literature and current events. It deals with ideology, society, history and economy. Marxism sees economics as base on which superstructure, social, political, and ideological is built. In other words, one of the fundamental premises of Marxism is material circumstances referring to economic conditions that generate social, political, ideological atmosphere called the historical situation, the other premise. Marxism also highlights socio-economic class division, haves that means bourgeoisie and have-nots that means proletariat, causing class struggle by which all human history is characterized. To Marxism, ideology is the ruling ideas of the ruling class or the belief system. And all belief systems are the products of cultural conditioning. For example, capitalism, communism, religion, etc. are not innocent but are determined or shaped by the nature of the economic base known as economic determinism. Marxist literary criticism therefore incorporates these phenomena like base, superstructure, economic determinism and ideology remarkably. French Marxist theoretician Louis Althusser, his time period was 1918 to 1990, contributes a lot to the Marxist perspective. His ideas are clearly indebted to structuralism also. In his notion of relative autonomy, he propounds that, in spite of the connection between culture and economics, art has a degree of independence from economic forces. Ideology is a key term for Althusser like other Marxists. He defines ideology is a system possessing its logic and proper rigor of representations like uh, image, myths, ideas or concepts according to the case endowed with an existence and an historical role at the heart of a given society. In a letter on art, he considers art to be located somewhere between ideology and scientific knowledge. He sees that a work of literature neither provides 
a full understanding of the real world, nor does it simply lend expression to the ideology of a specific class. But it does make us aware of the ideology which governs both its existence and our own existence in society. Actually, Althusser modifies orthodox Marxism. He further theorizes that ideology works through ISA, that means ideological state apparatuses, for example, the political system, the law, education, organized religion, etc. That means what we do or believe are ideological. Even when we believe that we are acting according to our free will, it is really in accordance with the RSA, that means repressive state apparatuses, for example, the police, the army, the jail, etc. But the ideology, like democracy, makes us feel free, but we are tied by RSA, that means the practice. Here prevails the trick, interpolation. As Althusser quotes, Althusser introduces the concept of interpolation, otherwise known as hailing. Ideologies call out or hail people and offer a particular identity which they accept as natural or obvious in this way. The dominant class exerts a power over individuals that is quite different from abject force. A novel makes its audience feel that the characters are free in the world depicted in the text, but they are also in the grip of an ideology. Before Althusser, an Italian Marxist, Antonio Gramsci, very considerably has focused on hegemony, which becomes another essential issue in this literary criticism. To Gramsci, hegemony is the whole lived social process as practically organized by specific and dominant means, values, and beliefs of a kind which can be abstracted as a worldview or class outlook. Althusserian characteristic of ideology is therefore closely related to the notion of hegemony. Hegemony is like an internalized form of social control which makes certain views they seem natural or invisible. In his primer, Marxism and Literary Criticism, published in 1976, Terry Eagleton states, Marxist criticism analyzes literature in terms of the historical conditions which produce it. It is, however, not merely sociology of literature. So, if somebody asks, what is Marxist literary criticism? Please do remember that the business of Marxist literary criticism is to understand ideologies, the ideas, values and feelings by which men experience their societies at various times. And to explain the literary work more fully. And this means a sensitive attention to its forms, styles and meanings. So, the importance of the application of Marxist theory to literary analysis is undeniable. Thank you.